It's no surprise to most people that Teslas come with a lot of different kind of features because there's so much tech in the vehicle, the vehicle gets software updates, and that adds more features over time. But besides having a lot of features, there are actually a decent amount of hidden features as well. So here are some hidden features for your Tesla. The first hidden feature to know is how to quick save the last 10 minutes of your Tesla's dash cam footage. If you click the three white dots on the bottom of the screen, it will bring up all of your apps. Find your dash cam app, then hold and drag it to the bottom of the screen. Now that your dash cam app is on the bottom of the screen, whenever you are driving and you want to save the last 10 minutes of footage to your USB storage in your glove compartment, just tap your dash cam and you will see a notification stating that the dash cam footage has been saved. Be aware that the vehicle must be in drive in order for this to work, because if you tap the dash cam footage while you are parked, that will launch the dash cam media player to watch back the footage. Now the next hidden feature to know is that you can send directions from your phone to your Tesla's navigation. This helpful feature works with Google Maps, Waze, and even Apple Maps. To do this with Google Maps, open the app, type in your directions, and then tap on the box with the arrow pointing up. Tap share this place, and then scroll left through your apps until you see the Tesla app. Select the Tesla app, and then the directions will be sent to your Tesla's navigation. So by the time you get back to your car, your navigation will already have your directions ready for your drive. To send navigations from Apple Maps is the same as Google, but when it comes to Waze, there is one extra step. After you select a location, tap the share icon, and then when the menu pops up, you want to tap more options, and then you can find the Tesla app and send the directions. And if you have multiple Teslas, the directions will be sent to the Tesla that you have used last. So if I wanted to send the directions to my Model 3 instead of my Model Y, I'll open up the Tesla app and swipe over to my Model 3, and then I will send the directions from my phone. The next hidden feature is in the app's library. When you tap the three white dots on the bottom of the screen, a menu pops up that shows you all of your apps. Now it is safe to say that nobody uses all of these apps, so Tesla has given owners the ability to clean up this menu. To do this, open your settings and scroll down to the audio settings. After you bring up the audio settings, scroll down until you see all the apps that you can turn off. After you selected the apps that you want to turn off, go back to your apps menu and you will see that all the apps you turned off are gone, giving you a much cleaner look to your apps menu, making it easier to find apps that you actually want to use. This next hidden feature is in your Tesla's mobile app. If you look below the image of your Tesla, you will see the four quick controls. And if you hold down one of these quick controls, you will be able to access the menu to select and swap out your preferred quick controls. But you can actually add a fifth quick control. To do this, hold down one of the quick controls to bring up the other controls. Find which one you want to be your fifth control, and then select that quick control and drag it to the right side of the app and hold it there until the app makes room for it and puts it in the fifth slot. Now you have five quick controls instead of just four. I recommend that you remove your phone case in order to add this fifth quick control since your phone case will get in the way when you're trying to fit the fifth quick control at the end. Another hidden feature is Joe Mode. Joe Mode turns down the interior noises and chimes that the car makes. This helps reduce the noise for passengers that might prefer the interior chimes to be quieter or they may have a person sleeping in the back seat. The reason this feature is called Joe Mode is because the guy who tweeted to Elon asking for this feature is named Joe. To turn this feature on, open your settings and then go to safety, and then scroll all the way down until you see Joe Mode and turn it on. Now another hidden feature is the broken supercharger notification. Whenever you route to a supercharger, your Tesla will know that it is going to a supercharger. So when you start to get close to that supercharger location that has a broken supercharger stall, the car will automatically show a notification on the bottom left hand side of the screen. That shows which supercharger stalls are broken, if any. Now this feature might seem kind of pointless since you can see which superchargers might be out of service at any location from the supercharger information on your navigation, but just in case if you've navigated to a supercharger with a broken stall and you forgot to check if there are some broken stalls, this extra notification can actually be a nice feature. Now this next hidden feature involves the voice commands. Even though most voice commands are used for car functions, like opening the glove box, there are some funny hidden easter egg type commands, like the Rick and Morty reference command keep summer safe, which turns on sentry mode, and the open the butthole command that opens the charging port. And finally, this last hidden feature allows you to adjust your trunk height. To do this, open your trunk or hatchback, and after it opens all the way, manually adjust it to your desired height. After your trunk is at its desired height, simply hold down the trunk button until you hear the chime sound. Then push the button again to close it, and now when you open up your trunk, it will be to your desired height. 
You can also adjust this from the center screen by opening the trunk and then pausing it at the desired height and then tapping the save button. And so there you have it. Those are a couple of hidden features for your Tesla. Now I imagine there are more hidden features that I didn't go over in this video. So if you know any hidden features, please leave them down in the comments below so myself and other people who watch this video can learn about them. And if you're interested in learning some shortcuts for navigating your Tesla center screen, click this video right up here. And if not, I appreciate it you made it this far into the video and I'll see you next time.